NFL hopeful seems to have missed the DeAndre Hopkins competition. DeAndre Hopkins is still in the running for the championship as he looks for his next NFL team as a free agency wide receiver. Although there is one club that meets the mold and appears to be out on the pro bowler, Hopkins stated that he is looking for a strong organization with a decent quarterback he can gel with heading into the postseason. After completing a blockbuster deal with the Green Bay Packers, the New York Jets now have Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After missing the playoffs for the previous 12 seasons, the move positions them as a genuine contender. On Wednesday, though, head coach Robert Sala brushed off a query regarding Hopkins possibly joining the squad. We love our current group. Sala said about the team's receivers. I know there was some stuff with Odell, Beckham Jr., but other than that, we love our group. Although the Jets were in the running to acquire Beckham, he ultimately decided to accept a one-year deal with the Baltimore Ravens to play with Lamar Jackson. Keeping intentions a secret in professional sports often involves some gamesmanship, but taking Salah at his word seems reasonable in light of the Jets' receiving group. First, despite uncertainty at the quarterback situation between Zach Wilson, Mike White, and Joe Flacco last season, Garrett Wilson was named Offensive Rookie of the Year. He is anticipated to flourish now that Rodgers is in charge of the offense. Alan Lazard has also been added, and the two of them were teammates in Green Bay. Despite the Rodgers contract not having been finalized yet this summer, he signed with the Jets. Even Randall Cobb, a former Packers target for Rodgers, joined one Jets drive as a free agent. Nicole Hardman, who is anticipated to be a deep ball threat and someone Rodgers can get the ball out too quickly for a possible large gain with his lightning speed, was also recruited by GM Joe Douglas. The Jets must be confident in their prospects with this position group given the addition of veterans Corey Davis and Denzel Mims. Hopkins is a consistent number one receiver in the NFL, so fully ruling out the possibility of bringing him in would be negligent. The Jets have the cap space to sign Hopkins because, according to OverTheCap.com, they currently have a $24 million surplus. Due to their reputations as some of the best teams in the NFL, particularly when it comes to quarterback performance, clubs like the Kansas City Chiefs, Buffalo Bills, and Philadelphia Eagles are among the favorites to sign the guy they name, Nook, on the football field. But the Jets appear to be happy with the team they have in the building at the moment. The organization's first focus appears to be getting everyone on the same page under new offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett, who Rodgers once played under in Green Bay.